We got five and a half more hours to get there. Woo! Dude, this place is freaking nice. Are you kidding me? Dude, it looks so good. I'm about to get a shower and start editing. But man, this place is awesome. Once again, we will show you more of it in the morning. It is dark outside right now, but you can see all these vehicles backed up. That is because their boats are backed into the garages. God, so sick. This place is designed for fishermen. Like I was saying, this place is designed for fishermen. Everything is fish. A fishing pole, fish. The no smoking sign is a fish smoking. Do not disturb, dreaming about fishing. The room numbers is a fish. This place is awesome. Oh, good morning guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure and the first day in Tennessee. This is right outside the window, check this out. Check out that bridge. We got some pilings over there. I'm about to go fish that. <laughs> I'm gonna run to Walmart, go get a license for Tennessee and then uh, definitely start there. Looks like we can also throw a frog out here as well. That would be killer out here. Oh boy, oh boy. Right outside the lodge. Guys, I jokingly posted about getting a wrap on my truck and now I really want one because that looks sick. All right, so I'm just driving around, checking the place out. I found the boat docks and the boat ramp. Look, here is the boat ramp. Man, this place is freaking beautiful. Dude, look at that house. That is freaking amazing. And a dock going down to the water. All right, so I just got my fishing license. I got 10 days of fishing here in Tennessee. And before I go fishing, I'm actually gonna go check out a custom lure bait shop. So I just saw it on Google Maps. So let's go check it out. Dude, this place is stacked. This is like a full on Bass Pro Shop in this little building. <laughs> Awesome. All right, so I just talked to the lady, real nice lady. She gave me some information. She said you can fish all these banks. There's like no rules or anything. So I am good to go. She also said anything shad colored would work. I still got on this Tennessee Shad Pulse Jig I got from Jeremy. So we're just gonna throw a few casts in here and see what we can do. We got this lovely little bridge right here that looks juicy if it's deep. I'm not sure how deep it is right here. We'll see. First cast ever in Tennessee. There it is. Y'all see that thing? Whoa, focus, focus. What's up, dude? He just nodded at me. Like, what's up? What's up, man? That's great. What the heck is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that a beaver? I've never seen a beaver up close. Okay, chill. I'm not gonna go over there. I don't wanna mess with it. I don't want it messing with me. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. It's already giving me signs like, you better not come over here. So we will avoid this bridge. I may fish right here. I mean, this isn't bad. I'll fish right here. There's a nice little walkway down to the water. Mm -hmm. 
So here is the lodge. You can see the garages on the bottom half, and then the rooms are up top. The garages are for your boat. Yeah, it's a lodge that has garages for your boat. This place is designed and made for fishermen in mind, and it's just freaking awesome. And the boat ramp is right across the street or the lake here. There's that awesome bait shop I was just in. Dude, this place is freaking fish heaven. So freaking cool. All right, here only, is the boat. Only transom for it. You bring in Dude, out. she's wide. How yeah. wide is that? 52. 52? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> so base is going to be two days. Two day build. <laughs> Less than 20, less than 48 hours. All right, guys. Here is the boat we're working on here in Tennessee. We're going to be redoing this entire boat, making it awesome. Nate is already uh, pre-planned all this. He already has all the framing welded and everything ready to go. So uh, it's going to be a quick build. This is a big boat. I think it's a 16 by 52. Heck yeah, man, I cannot wait. This is gonna be awesome. So Ryan and Nick just showed up. They are here. They're unpacking the truck, but just wanted to show you all the boat that we're working on. All right, me, Nick, and Ryan are heading to Lowe's to go get some supplies for the boat. So this boat is pretty old. It's uh, It's been sitting in a field for a long time. It stored rocks. It's been a decoration piece. It had a whole bunch of toilets in it at one point. And it's just beat up, man. The gunnels are all bent. She's all old and grummy and crummy and nasty and whatnot. But uh, we're gonna clean it up and bring this boat back to life and make it look awesome. Yeah, Bailey, Bailey, what's Adam, what's happening? Bailey, Bailey runs the resort with uh, Chris and Josh. Gotcha. Okay, Look at all this there. metal for this boat. All time, right? Yeah. Nate's boat. Once again, here is the boat that we're building. Nate just showed up and dropped off all the aluminum. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sheets of aluminum. We just unloaded it and now we're about to go eat some food. Still waiting on Michael Lopez. He's the last one here. We're gonna throw that inside that one. There's the wire. Okay. So now we got all the other parts coming in. Here's all the wiring. Are you sponsored by Milwaukee yet? <laughs> he got his new boat build inside the toy hauler. Pretty awesome. Michael Lopez's boat he just built.
All right, so we all just showed up here in Tennessee at the PB Lodge. We got all the Tin Can crew members, minus Eric from Few Man Boats and Anthony Jones. But those guys will show up here in the next few days. But we got all the parts unloaded. The boat is ready to go for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a busy and hectic day. We plan to finish this boat in about, oh, maybe four or five days. So we have a lot of work to do but this is going to be awesome. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Catch y'all, babe, boy.